so that's it. The uh, deadline has uh, passed, so now every single team in the FPL should have been submitted, and uh, now it's just time to pray and hope that the players that you've selected are going to get the points that you uh, want in the next coming weeks. So, um, like I promised, this is uh, an episode where I'm going to be showing my final draft team, which I'm submitting for the uh, game week one. So, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail why I've selected uh, these players, because I've already done that in a previous video, uh, which I'll put a link in to the end of this video. But uh, we'll start with uh, just uh, Pickford. I said it already before, I, I think he's a player that I'm going to leave in my squad. I'm not going to change him around a lot. He's going to be a guaranteed starter for Everton and have a pretty good run in, in the start of the season. So he's going to be my number one. Uh, I've got uh, Alexander Arnold as uh, my one of my defence uh, options. The reason is, is Liverpool have uh, got very good attacking prowess. And I think that, um, you know, he's been pretty good in pre-season, he's been getting forward, he's been getting involved in a lot of their attacks, so I think that he's a good option, and especially for his price. Uh, Mendy is the exact same reason as uh, Trent, that I've put him in, that he's a really good attacking option, he gets a lot of freedom to go forward because he's playing uh, in Man City, and I just think that he's an over he's got a lot to prove, he was injured last season, and I think he's going to get a lot of points early on in the uh, season, so that's why I've selected him. And then I've got Daniels, because uh, I think that... Um, Bournemouth have got a pretty good start to the season. Their fixtures aren't too hard. He's very cheap. And uh, yeah, I think that Bournemouth actually will uh, beat Cardiff this week. So I think that there's a possibility that he'll get a clean sheet and there could be some extra points you never know from uh, sort of set pieces. Okay, so the biggest change that I've made since my last video is in my midfield. Um, I've basically, I've elected to get rid of uh, Kanti. Even, uh, Kanti, for his price, is one of the uh, highest selected uh, players in midfield. Um just take a look at the stats actually let's go on to team selected by percentages and we'll go on to uh, midfielders Kante is the third highest selected midfielder in the uh, uh, currently with a 19.5 percent um, someone made a good point to me the other day on one of the comments they said that you know Kante why basically and I thought about it and after watching a lot of other people's uh, suggestions, uh, I don't know much about the championship. I didn't watch it that much last year. But uh, the two players which seem to be getting a lot of attention from the championship are Neves at Wolves and uh, Carney from Fulham. So what I've decided is, is these two tier players are mo much more attacking minded than Kante. Um, they have much more potential to uh, get forward, have shots and be involved in uh, sort of attacking movements so that, therefore potential for assists I decided to get rid of Kante and put Neves instead and I already had Carney in there as well this is obviously uh, two players which are only worth 10 million combined so it's allowed me to put in De Bruyne, Eriksen, Salah who I think are the three most pivotal players in each of their respective teams uh, I think De Bruyne's going to have a hard game against uh, Arsenal um, but you know I think that he's always good for a goal or an assist um, Ericsson uh, is going to be probably the main man for Tottenham against uh, Newcastle on the weekend and Salah I mean you know I, I just we, we already know about Salah there's no point in explaining why I've got him in my team uh, I think I'm going to go with Salah as my captain and I'm going to go as um, Ericsson as my vice captain uh, so up top first we'll start with a uh, camera I've put him in because uh, he's cheap um, I don't he, he's probably going to be starting for uh, Fulham so uh, his value won't drop so quickly but he's only in there just to make up the numbers and uh, because of his price. It leaves me with my two striking options, which is Firmino and Aguero. Uh, like I previously said in a, a video before, I was not sure would I go with Aubameyang or Aguero. But on the hindsight, Aguero's had a better uh, preseason um, in terms of recently. Like Aubameyang, he scored four preseason goals, but one of the three of those goals were against Boreham Wood um, in a in a friendly very early on. I mean. Aguero has scored two against Chelsea in the uh, Community Shield. Aubameyang only has done it against very uh, like lesser teams. Um, so I think that Aguero is probably more ready uh, for the start of the season. And I think you know he's surrounded by a much better team. So I think that that's the reason that I've gone for Aguero. And Firmino, I think because uh, they've got a good start, they've got an easy game. And I think that uh, if him and Salah get firing, then it's going to be a really... Uh, high scoring game and I think that they're going to pick up a lot of points so that's my uh, final draft um, oh yeah and I've also got uh, Stecklenburg in goal just to make up the numbers at the back 
That's one of my subs. I've got uh, Wan Basaka because he's going to probably definitely start, um, and there's a potential chance of him picking up points. My other substitute is uh, Bednarek. Um, he has a, obviously a good chance of starting, especially if uh, they keep the five-man defence they had a lot at the end of the last season. And uh, Camera will be on the bench. So, what are my predictions for game week one? Well, let's have a look at the uh, first fixture, which is obviously in about two hours' time. It's Man United at home to uh, Leicester. So, my prediction is that uh, I think Man United will just pick this game. I don't think it's going to be a, a pretty game. I don't think that uh, there's going to be a lot of goals. And I think that uh, Man United probably will just be the team that will uh, get this maybe one goal or two goals. Um, it'll probably, I don't think that Leicester will score at Old Trafford. Um, I think Man, uh, Man United were quite good defensively last season, so I'm expecting a home uh, win. Moving on to uh, next game, Newcastle against Spurs. Obviously, uh, I used to live in Newcastle, so I know that their stadium is a great stadium, great home support. Um, but I think that Spurs probably will just have a little bit more uh, they've, than, than Newcastle. Newcastle haven't made very, uh, many uh, signings, they haven't really uh, boosted their squad. Um, so I think that Spurs will probably just have a, enough to, to win this game. Um, and yeah, it, I mean, it obviously depends on, on who turns up for Spurs because, you know, they need Harry Kane to have a good game, they need Ericsson to have a game. So, but my overall prediction though is Spurs will win. Okay, moving on Bournemouth, Cardiff. Um, I believe that Bournemouth will win this game quite comfortably. Um, Cardiff are just uh, coming up. I think that they haven't quite strengthened uh, that well. Um, and I think that Bournemouth, um, they always start well to the season. They're at home. Uh, so I think that they could comfortably win this game. So I, I would go with a home uh, win with Bournemouth. Next, Fulham against Crystal Palace. Now this is a really hard game to predict because Fulham have made a lot of signings. They look good signings as well. But uh, you know it's going to take time for a lot of them to gel in, get their team uh, sort of meshed into a nice state so they can compete. So I think that uh, this game could potentially be a draw. I think Crystal Palace is a similar situation where they've got a lot of new players that need to gel. So I'm going to go with a draw. Next, Huddersfield against Chelsea. I think that uh, it's not going to be as easy as people think it will be uh, for Chelsea. But I think that it's going to be a win for Chelsea. I can't see that Huddersfield will uh, come out with a win here. Maybe a draw, but uh, because you know they're promoted and they've got high uh, spirits from last season. But uh, I think Chelsea's going to win this. Um, okay, so Watford Brighton. Uh, I've got a home win here for uh, Watford. Um, I've got good home support. Um, I think that they've, you know, that they they still have an all right uh, core of their team, and I don't think that. Brighton, I, don't, I think away from home they're not that good and I don't think that they strengthen their team that well this uh, summer so I'm going to go with a home win for Watford uh, Wolves and Everton this is a difficult one, Wolves have uh, signed a lot of new players, uh, a bit like Fulham uh, how well are they going to be meshed, how well is it going to be uh, going into the first game, I'm not too sure Everton, similar but I think Everton's core team was much better in, in the first place and I think that, uh, that the signings that Everton made on dead, uh, deadline day were really good. They've really bolstered with some good players, team players that would fit straight into their first team. Uh, so I think that if they can click on their day, uh, even though they haven't had time, I think that there is a good argument here that uh, Everton could win this by quite a few goals. Okay, moving on to Sunday's fixtures. We've got Liverpool against West Ham. I can't see anything other than a, a, a multiple goal win here for, for Liverpool. I think they're going to win by two, three, four goals. Um, West Ham have got a lot to prove. Uh, they've got a lot of new players as well. But I just think the Liverpool, they've, they've done such a good uh, job in the transfer window. They've got in their players early, so they've been training with the players in pre-season. I just think Liverpool are going to have way too much for them and I expect a really big home uh, win in this game. Moving on, Southampton against Burnley. Um, you know, Burnley did really well last season, got into the Europa uh, Cup, and Southampton were looking shaky. I think that they're still lacking um, a good striker, and I, even though they've got the home support, um, I think that Burnley could actually win this game, and I'm going to go for an away win. I think Burnley uh, have a good team, and I think that they, they're coming in with a lot of confidence, and so I, I would expect them to, to really take the, the game to Southampton, so I'm going to go with an away win for Burnley. And lastly, a game involving my team, Arsenal, against uh, Man City, the champions. As much as it pains me to say, I think Man City are going to win this game. I don't think it's going to be um, 
a walk in the park for them. I think that Arsenal are going to give them a good game. And I think that they'll win it by maybe one uh, goal. Um, and I think maybe 2-1 victory to Man City is probably going to be the likely score. So I'm going to open away Man City win. It pains me to say it because I obviously want Numeré to get off to a good start for Arsenal. But uh, I can't see it really happening. So finally, um, I'm going to go... Uh, with my this is my betting advice what I'm going to be uh, putting on this weekend I'm going to go with over 2.5 goals in the Man City Arsenal game I'm going to go over 2.5 goals in the Liverpool West Ham game and I'm going to uh, go on a, uh, a Bournemouth home win against Cardiff it's a bit controversial that pick but I really do believe that uh, Bournemouth they're always a good start and I think Cardiff just got promoted I don't think they'll be quite ready for the Premier League and I don't I just think that uh, Bournemouth have got a really good chance of winning that so that's my my uh, prediction for the weekend in terms of my bets it's going to be Bournemouth home win over 2.5 goals in the Man City game uh, and the Liverpool game so thanks for uh, watching this video again uh, I've, this is my third video of uploading today. It's been a very busy day, but obviously it's exciting. Start of the Premier League, start of the Fantasy Premier League. So if you're new to my channel, please uh, make sure to subscribe if you want to see future content. I'm going to be uploading regularly uh, game on each game week and obviously during the week if there's games, etc. And um, if you've liked this video, obviously please do me, do me a massive favour, give me a big like. And if you've got any comments, please put them in the set and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Enjoy the game tonight. Um, against Man, uh, Man United Leicester and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.